Hello guys, I'm Shahzad Ahmed from Shakzi.com and uh, welcome in lecture number 5. Today we are going to cover the cache mechanism or the cache topic. So you can easily understand how and why you need to create the cache and uh, why the cache is most important things in your projects. So first of all, uh, you can store your data in the cache and uh, the cache is the mechanism to store your data in a temporary locations um, like uh, caching why you are storing the information in the temporary because of the future request for the data can be served faster for suppose if you have a query like uh, you are listing go to your exe.com i'm just telling you you are fetching or suppose this is your project you are fetching all the information from the database whenever someone hit the uh, your website or send the request to the browser oh please show me the shakzi.com that means the same query executing again and again so why you are performing the same query because every query has a effect or has a cost so that's why you have if you have a simple if you have a single query and uh, you are performing the same operation again and again so why you are performing the same operation again and again the cache mechanism is available so you need to add the same information in the cache and you can serve from the cache file or from the apc like alternative php cache so don't worry about it we are going to create so first of all i need to create the fun method i'm saying cache and now i'm saying i have to load the driver first of all this load i'm saying driver so it takes two parameter first is the name cache second is the associative array i am saying adopter i am saying adopter this is apc use the apc or if the apc is not available then use the backup and store the information in the file now in this way you can load the cache okay so how can you store the cache or how can you store the information in the cache so first of all before storing anything in the cache you have to check the cache is also available or not for suppose i am going to create the cache named shakzi and i am going to store some information in the cache but before doing this i need to check the shakzi is also available or not uh, as you can see this is the cache folder in the application folder you have a cache folder you always store your cache in the apc first of all alternative php or the file so the file based cache i'm saying oh please please check the cache i'm saying if the cache is not available this cache because we have loaded the cache so that's why we are saying cache and we are saying get i'm saying get the cache if the cache is not available then save the cache okay i'm saying this cache and i'm saying save so using the save method you can store some information in the cache it takes three parameters first of all the name of the cache second the values or the data of the cache which you are going to store in the cache third uh, how much time you need to store the information in a specific cache i'm saying the name is the cache shakzi shakzi is the cache name and i'm going to store something here for suppose you can store the string integer associative array whatever you want to store it's totally depend upon you in this time i am uh, just i'm saying my array my array and i'm going to store the array inside here i'm saying one 
and this is one now comma separate i'm saying two and now i'm saying this is also two now i need to store the associative array here so you can pass the data in the second parameter third you need to add the minutes so i'm saying five minutes store the cache for five minutes five minutes now how can you check that i'm saying this cache get get the cache i'm saying get the cache shikji and uh, we have the my uh, for suppose show cache variable and in this time it's a null variable that means we are going to store something here and now i have to add the var dump show cache go to your page home controller and cache mechanism because we have a home controller and we have just created the cache method hit the enter button so as you can see it's saying null now hit the okay that means you need to store also the information okay i'm saying show cache refresh the page so now as you can see it's saying one two three because it's fetching the cache from the uh this file this file because apc alternative php driver is not available so that's why it's creating the cache the file based cache the coding editor is using currently the file based cache because i am uh, i'm connected with my local host environment so how can you check uh, either the apc driver is connected before storing before storing anything in the cache so in this way using the save method you can save the cache using the get method you can get the cache so now i'm saying i'm just commenting this use the comment and now i'm saying how can you check the driver i'm saying if then else i'm saying driver is not available And here I have to say after checking I'm saying driver is and what is the procedure of checking the driver this I'm saying this caches and now I'm saying APC is supported go to your page refresh the page so now as you can see not available because the apc alternative php cache is not available that's why it's saying not available so in this way you can check the apc is supported for your uh, apc either the apc is supported or not so hit the comment button and now i'm going to create another cache so you can fetch all the cache from the cache folder first of all you can call or you can retrieve the specific cache like this because this cache is available here and you can also retrieve all the cache so how can you do that first of all i'm saying that i'm going to create another cache shakesy2 so this is also shakesy2 this is also shakesy2 go to your page refresh the page so it's saying one two three again so shakesy1 and shakesy2 so these are two cache available here so how can you call or how can you retrieve all the cache from the cache folder so just a second i'm saying comment this and now i'm saying this cache i'm saying cache info store this information in the variable now go to your page refresh the page sorry this is 
cache it. Refresh the page. So now as you can see it's showing us the cache. For suppose we have two cache, shake Z, okay, and then shake Z2. So it's showing us all the cache and the information related with those cache in a single variable. Okay. So now you have created the cache, you have retrieved the cache and uh, you have checked all the information related with cache. Now it's time to delete a particular cache. So how can you delete a cache? So I'm saying I'm going to create another method. I'm saying delete cache. You can pass, I'm saying specific cache, cache name. And here you can load the driver first of all. I'm saying this cache delete you can provide the cache name here I'm saying status war dump status to return the boolean so that's why I'm saying access this method and I'm going to pass the cache name refresh the file and it's saying two that means you have deleted a particular cache so as you can see the cache shakzi is not available in this way you can delete a particular cache cache for suppose sorry I'm saying I want to delete all the cache from the cache folder. So how can you do that? I'm saying clean, clean cache. Now load the driver first of all. And now I'm saying this cache clean. So you can use the clean method to clear your cache and uh, you can store the cache it will return the true or false or the boolean so I'm saying status and I need to use the status variable go to your page refresh the page sorry you can call the cache clear cache method hit the enter button so as you can see it's saying two so that means you have successfully cleared all the cache from the cache folder so in this way you can store your cache you can save sorry retrieve your cache you can delay, delete specific cache or you can clear all the cache from the cache folder and also you can check either the apc alternative php uh, driver is available or not so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to cover some other topics so thank you for watching